Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, do you use lead? Does your lead look like this a lot of the times? And you keep constantly having to re-put it on or do something like what I do with a awl and keep pushing it down harder and harder, but it still comes up like this after you play? Well, I'm going to help you with that today. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so um, the Pete's was pretty stacked this morning and the Starbucks was training some new people. So uh, I decided to hit the Victoria today. So if you guys don't know, Victoria is our Italian bakery out here and a lot of good stuff. I try to avoid it because I know that if I walk in, I'm going to be buying more than just my dark roast. But um, sponsoring my dark roast today is someone. Again, um, thank you, someone. Um, I appreciate you guys uh, buying me a coffee, and I guess you want to be anonymous, um, and that's okay. Um, thanks for your great content, he's, uh, someone says. Enjoy your drink. Thank you so much. Thank you so much in advance uh, for the people who will be buying me drinks. I appreciate you. If you want to buy me my piping hot dark roast of the day and be a sponsor, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Thank you all. <clears throat> so yeah, St. Honoré cake over at Victoria's. Does your racket with the lead look like that right it won't stick um, and that's not necessarily your fault i mean you did possibly hit the frame though you did okay i get it but they the strikes and i know the strikes in particular have a certain paint or a gloss or a sheen on the coating that the, the lead doesn't quite stick on. So you're having to reapply it over and over again. And, you know, you use your fingernail and you, you kind of do this deal. And uh, is it Elliot today? Good it morning. is Elliot today. A little light load for you guys. You guys have a great day. Thank you, Elliot. So back to the lead, guys. Back to the lead. So I know, because I do it, that you guys... You know, you use your nail, you use your fingers, and you constantly push down on the lead when you put it on. And most of the time, it's okay. Most of the time, it's okay. But on this particular racket, you know, the strike, the strike line, it winds up being like this after a one hit, usually, depending on how hard you are and if you kind of frame it. It just, the adhesive just doesn't want to stick on it. That's That's just the deal. Now, I've had the same problem with this Fury, right? And this is the way, this is the way to make it stick, okay? Make it stick. So go to your um, first aid cabinet at work and you'll have something like this. It's called a sterile alcohol prep pad for external use only. Do not ingest. Okay, where do you find these things? You go to your workplace and you go to that first aid kit. It's in there. Or you could just go to your, your bathroom and find your alcohol thing. You know, the little bottle of alcohol thing that's clear colored, right? Not the brown one, not the... the um, peroxide not the peroxide you want the alcohol alcohol not the drinking type okay alcohol and you just get a paper towel and you get it wet okay Jesus. but if you have a workplace you know it's free over there anyways all right so you take the spot and you kind of do this you clean it off you clean it off 
Let me wipe off that sheen. Damn, that's dirty. Okay, and then you wipe off the other side. Look how dirty that is. So let it air dry, you know. Okay. So now it should be ready for application. I've seen people, and I've seen people do um, do something gross and to the racket, and it actually works too. If you really want to, they literally. They literally like take the racket and they spit on it. They go, and they go like that. And then they use their thumb and they go just, just in the spot where they're gonna put the lead. And then they put the lead on it. And that surprisingly works too. But if you wanna be sanitary about it, okay? Or maybe you could spit on it, do that, and then put this. Oh, don't pass the COVID. Okay, let's go. All right, so you, you um, find your spots. So here to here, let's see, I'm just gonna quickly do that, quickly do that. Right, push down hard like you usually do with the thumb. Both sides, both sides. I got some lead, look at that lead. It's dirty, lead's dirty, contaminated now. Put gloves on guys, don't be like me. I've been doing this for 30 years. Thank you for your concerns though. I appreciate it. a lot of you have said, be careful with the lead. Thank you, thank you. I'm like lead man now. All right, so that's what you do. Um, you do this, I, ha I have my Fury racket here that I need to do uh, two. So I've been having problems with this Fury first. And um, as you know, I had to put the VT strips on here, which is not a bad thing either. Uh, but I took the VT strips off now, and I'm gonna show you how I prep this particular racket and then show you something else on a different racket. So uh, because this is so slippery and the lead doesn't stick from the off the bat, like literally off the bat, it won't stick right now. It won't stick. I take just scotch tape and I go into, I go into the area that I want to add lead to. And I push in, I push in like that. And then I just peel it off. I do the same. I make sure it sticks really well. And what I'm trying to do is just try to peel off the sheen or whatever it has here. So that's one thing that I like to do to prepare my rackets to get, you know, to get to the next step before putting the lead on. But I showed you, okay, you know where to go get this. I told you. If they don't have it, tell them, Reese. Oh, you guys are out of alcohol pre-wipes, pre guys. Can you order more? All right, guys. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. All right, guys. Are you looking for a coach, a pro? I know it's been super difficult looking for somebody out there to teach you. And I'm in the game myself, and it's super difficult to find somebody to, you know, teach you, somebody to hit with. Um, we know that the number one reason why people give up the game is because they can't find anybody to play with. And now you can't find anybody to teach you. Well, this is where play your court is going to give you a hand. All right. Check out play your court. They have professionals. They have hitting partners. They even help you set up a game. The resources are there for you. 
to keep you in the game of tennis. Go to playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin and get your own personal discount from me. Link is below. Stay in the game, guys.